Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak from CNET, and we're taking a look at the Pioneer SPSB23W. This is the highly anticipated soundbar from Pioneer's line of Andrew Jones designed budget speakers, and the whole system is selling for $400. A Pioneer doesn't look like your typical plasticky soundbar. It sports a composite wood cabinet that's better for sound quality but does add bulk to the system. It stands at about four inches high, and if you're placing it on your TV cabinet, it might end up blocking your TV's remote sensor. The styling is a little boring with a black vinyl finish, but it looks good enough sitting under your TV. The included subwoofer is wireless, and it's tiny. It's actually probably one of the smallest subwoofers I've seen with the Salbar system. That makes it easy to hide in your living room, although it does sound best within a few feet of the soundbar. The included remote isn't great with a wafer thin design that's hard to navigate by feel. Luckily, you can program the soundbar to respond to commands from your TV or cable box remote, or even better, you can use a universal remote. Around back, you'll find a bare minimum selection of ports, an analog input and an optical input. That might not seem like much, but it's plenty if you use your TV as a switcher by connecting all your devices directly to your TV and then connecting your TV's audio output to the soundbar. There's also built-in Bluetooth with support for the better sounding aptX codec, and that'll let you wirelessly stream audio from just about every mobile device. But the real reason to get excited about this product is its sound quality. The Pioneer sounds better than just about any soundbar we've heard, and certainly better than any soundbar at this price. The little sub delivers a surprising amount of low end, and it blends particularly well with the soundbar. That blend really contributes to the overall natural sound. So while other systems may try and wow you with excessive bass or virtual surround effects, the Pioneer simply strives to sound more like a set of good, balanced speakers. That's why it's one of the few soundbars that actually sounds good with music as well as movies, and most soundbars can't handle music that well. We compared it directly to two excellent soundbars, the JBL SB400 and the Sony HTCT260, and the Pioneer clearly sounded best with a wide range of content although the JBL can sound a little bit more powerful on movies. But the bottom line is that you're not going to get a better sounding home audio system without spending more than this. And even if you do spend more, the Pioneer still sounds better than a lot of the pricier soundbars that are on the market. So while there are some nagging design issues, they're relatively minor and worth putting up with if you care about sound, which is why the Pioneer spsb 23 w earns the Editor's Choice Award in the soundbar category. I'm Matthew Muscoviak, and this is the Pioneer SPSB23W.